Hello, and welcome to exploring the scale of the solar system. We are going to be using about a pound and a half of Play-Doh and doing three activities to really see how far the planets are and how do they compare in sizes. So let's get started. Part 1. The Earth compared to the Moon. We're going to take our Play-Doh and divide it into 50 equal spheres. Try to make them as equal as possible. It's okay if some of them are a little off, but try your best. Then you're going to choose one of them and put it off to the side. With the other 49 pieces, you are then going to smash them together to create the Earth. You may want to get a friend to help you. Now that we have the Earth, let's compare it to this piece we put off to the side, the Moon. I have also put a Bill Nye pop figure for reference. Let's look at what it looks like to be near the Moon looking at the Earth. As you can see, the Earth actually looks like it's the same size as the Moon, and if we move the Bill Nye figure, you can see that it's actually not. Now if we switch perspectives and take a look from the Earth to the Moon, it looks like how we normally see. I've also moved the Bill Nye for reference so you can see the difference in sizes. And that ends part one. Lab number two, Earth, Moon, and Mars. We are going to compare the distance and the sizes of Earth, Moon, and Mars. In order to do that, we need to change our scale. First, you need to divide your dough in half. Then you need to divide one half into seven equal spheres. The half you have left over is going to actually represent the Earth. So go ahead and put that off to the side. Choose one of the seven you've just made to represent Mars. Put five of them off to the side as well, and leave one which you are going to divide into seven pieces to make the moon. One of those seven is the moon. Now the Earth and the moon should actually be 30 Earth diameters apart. Unfortunately, that won't fit on our camera, so we're just going to put them apart for right now. <laughs> Now, how far should Mars be at this scale? Well, it really would not fit on our screen as it should be three and a half blocks away from us. I hope that puts into some perspective how far Earth and Mars are really from each other. I can only imagine how far I would have to go to do the other planets for you as well. Now for part three. Speaking of planets, let's take a look at the rest of them and how they compare to each other in size. So, for this lab, take out your clay again, a ruler with centimeters, and a magic wand. Roll out your dough to 30 centimeters, and then mark it at every 3 centimeters so you can have it into 10 equal parts. Take 6 of those parts and separate it from the other 4. The 6 are actually going to be Jupiter. Go ahead and put Jupiter to the side. Then, with your dough, take three pieces, and that's gonna be the first part of Saturn, and put that to the side. With your remaining piece, you are going to roll it out to 30 centimeters again and divide it into 10 equal pieces by chopping it at every three centimeters. Then you're gonna take half, five pieces, and put it off to the side for Saturn. With the remaining five pieces, you are going to take two of them and squish it together, and another two and squish them together in order to make Uranus and Neptune. With the remaining piece, you're gonna roll it out again, but only to 10 centimeters this time. You will then cut it at every centimeter in order to make 10 pieces again. You're going to take nine of those pieces and add it to Saturn. The remaining piece is going to be divided in half and one of those halves will be Earth. With your small piece left, go ahead and roll it out to 10 centimeters one more time and divide it into 10 pieces. Nine of those pieces are going to be Venus, as it's very close to the size of Earth. Take your tiny leftover piece and roll it out to two centimeters, because we still need to make Mars and Mercury. Take two millimeters off of your last piece, and that is going to be Mercury. The remaining piece will be Mars. 
Now if we wanted to make Pluto, that would be a lot smaller, and I don't think we want to go there. Go ahead and roll Saturn up into a ball, and now let's compare how everything looks like side by side. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. and the inner planets Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury. Now, if we were to do the Sun as well, we would have to gather all these planets back up and get 400 more containers of Play-Doh in order to do the Sun. 